Good morning, everybody, or hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shay, and I wanted to do this video. It's, it's inspired by many people. So Patricia Bright, Lydia Elise Millen, Shelby and Monica Church, Sophie Chauhet. So many people did this, and I loved watching it, so I was inspired. So we're gonna talk about my best and my worst life purchases. So these guys, these are these are big purchases. These have been life changing for the good and the bad. Um, and so I, yeah, let's just get started. We're gonna, we're gonna be covering so many random things. And guys, this video is gonna be all over the place, even background wise. I didn't know where to start. So I just pulled out my white backdrop, but we're gonna be going through the house. We're gonna be going through many places because these life purchases, they're just everywhere. So let's get started. But we're gonna start off on a positive note. The best purchase, one of one of the best, but not the best, one of the best purchases I've ever made. It does have to do with the vehicle because everybody seems to talk about their vehicles. So I wanted to throw mine into the mix. And I have to shout out that the best vehicle purchase has ever been my Toyota Solera. And guys, that is a throwback to my high school days. I got this car, I'll insert a picture, um, when I was in high school. And I worked my butt off for this, I worked at McDonald's, okay? I talked about that before. I worked at McDonald's, I, I, I saved a lot of money and I bought a new car when I was a senior in high school. And I have to, I'll be honest, my parents threw in some money towards it, not a lot. I think it was kind of just a reward, like good job, we're proud of you. But for the most part, I bought that car for myself. And it was a good decision. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, uh, why would you ever buy a new car? Especially when you're a senior in high school, like that's crazy. But guys, it lasted me so many years. And when I went to sell it, which was when I was pregnant with, with Paxton. So that's many, 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 many years later. I got $10,000 for it when I sold it. It never broke down. I, I barely had to do anything with it. And then when I sold it, I got so much money back. So it was definitely a good financial decision and it was a safe vehicle. A lot of kids start out in crappy clunker cars when they're in high school and that statistically is when many children get into accidents because they're not experienced drivers. So my parents thought it was really important that you know, I work hard for a vehicle and I'm actually driving something safe. So that has been my best purchase. Now leading to, speaking of vehicles and worst purchases, just kidding. I've only had this vehicle for like two months and it's it's an, a BMW X7. Now, I am not including this in the video to brag and be like, look at me, I have a BMW, I'm amazing. No, um, I've only had it for two months. I honestly, every single day when I get in this vehicle, I thoroughly enjoy driving it. However, it was more money than I typically feel is okay to spend on a car. So I question myself every single day, should I have purchased this? I don't know. Um, I really like driving it, it drives really well, but if it starts breaking down on me, I'm gonna be so mad. So hopefully it doesn't. Um, only time will tell. Hope, hopefully this isn't in, in a video years, years later where I, I regret this. Um, so far I don't, but let's get back to the real worst decision that I want to talk about. Aha, so I tricked you. But what's funny is my real worst purchase from years ago, it, it's, it, it still has to do with Toyota. Now, I was so into my car back then and my parents were really trying to kind of teach me good financial habits. And so along with buying a new car, they also wanted me to start investing in my future. Um, and so I decided to buy Toyota stock. Yes, I bought Toyota stock. And guess what guys? I was like, oh, I love my car. This is like a brand and a company I really stand behind. I'm gonna buy stock in this. Like this is, like it wasn't a lot. Like it was more just to like, to, like teach me things. Um, so my brother bought stock in General Electric. I bought stock in Toyota. Sure enough, a few months later after that, Toyota gets this crazy bad, bad, bad recall stock plummets, I lose basically a lot of my money. Um, General Electric soars, my brother makes a lot of money. So all I'm trying to say with that is, don't put all of your eggs in one basket and you need to diversify. Mutual funds, we want, we want if you're gonna buy stocks, buy stocks in a lot of different brands. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. So that was a very bad decision. I, rem I still look back on that and it was like, such a big deal to me because I worked so hard for that money and then it was just like, poof, kind of gone. Um, and, and that is the case with the stock market, but all I'm saying is it was a good teaching lesson, one of my worst decisions financially. Um, it's not awful, but diversify. Diversify is all I'm trying to say. Okay, so here we are in a random hallway 
in my home. And we're gonna talk about another worst purchase because why wouldn't I keep one of my worst purchases of my life in a random hallway? So let's just open the door and, and, and see what we can find in here. <laughs> so guys, my worst purchase of my life as a child probably was my Beanie Baby collection. Comment below if you have a collection too. I was so, so all about this. I was like, I'm gonna be a billionaire when I grow up. Um, so I have them protected in plastic cases. I have, oh, this one, oh, this is a tie-dye one. This is a big deal. I even have their tags protected in little plastic covers. So, oh, and then I have the, even like the McDonald's Happy Meal. I have all of those. It was a bad decision. I really enjoyed it, but as a child, I've, I shouldn't have spent this much money on, on little furry beanie babies, but I clearly I'm still protective of them. I don't let my kids play with them. I keep them here in my pantry for safekeeping. I'll even show you my favorite one. Um, this is Lizzie the lizard. I really, really like her. That was always my favorite. So she can go back in here with her turtle. Worst decision, maybe one day it will make me a millionaire, but until now they're staying in my pantry in my random hallway closet. So we are back down here in my basement. I wanted to talk about one of the best purchases of my life, which is this Canon 80D DSLR camera. So I purchased this to start my YouTube channel almost three years ago. And guys, YouTube has changed my life. This camera was, I can't even tell you how good this camera has been to me. Um, I, I love filming and I couldn't do it without this. So sometimes you just have to take a risk, take a leap, make a small investment in what you wanna do with your life. And in this situation, it definitely worked out. So this, this camera leads me to my next, my next best purchase. Our home and oh, we just, we just love this home so much. We've been in here for about a year now and it has been the best purchase, I would say, of my life, like truly. Um, we feel at peace here, we finally feel at home. Our last house, we just didn't feel that way. Um, and I just think it's really important to love where you live because you, you spend your life there. And I don't think you should, you know, go above your means and, and get something you can't afford, but I also think you should really love your home. And so this kind of fell into our laps. We woke up on a Sunday morning, had no idea or, or any intentions of buying a house. And then by the end of the, the day, we had purchased a house. But this has beautiful views. We have property, I have filming space. My kids love it. Josh loves it. We just absolutely love it here. We feel at peace. And I, I, with all of that said though, that does lead me to a couple other best and worst purchases actually involving this house. So here we are in my kitchen. Now, um, I would say out of every space or every room in our house, the kitchen is what is most lacking, which I mean, it's not a terrible, I mean, it's a nice kitchen. Uh, but when we first moved in, it was yellow. The ca cabinets were like this ugly brown color. And so we decided to renovate it, essentially cut corners, <laughs> not really renovate it, just paint the cabinets white. Um, and because of that, because we decided to cut corners, save money, I am now not happy with the end result. Uh, as you can see, these cabinets, they're, they're older. This is kind of outdated, so I'm not really happy with that. But the, the doors are, are slightly off. They're not level. And therefore, the hardware is now not level. You can see it. They don't line up and it annoys me every single day. So I, I walk into my kitchen, I just feel like it's chintzy, it's cheap. Like I just cut corners too much and now, I, you know, I was trying to save money and I might end up spending even more money to actually get what I want. And I feel like that's such a good lesson in life. Sometimes you don't wanna cut corners. You actually just need to spend the money at the beginning and actually get what you love. And so that leads me to my next best purchase, which is upstairs where I did spend the money. And I do absolutely love this. And it's been a great decision. So here we are in my closet. Now I realize this is a tad extreme. Most people don't need this. Um, but again, another reason why I was so shocked and I'm so happy with our house because this bonus room is actually attached to our bedroom. And so when I was looking at the house, I was like, this could be my studio. And 
it's worked out so perfectly. I obviously have closet space for clothes, handbags, shoes. I've got an office space over here with a computer, desk, storage, and then I have a full makeup vanity area right here. And again, I know it's extreme, but it's my life. I film up here, it's a studio. It works so well for me. It was costly, but one of the best decisions, again, that I made, one of my best purchases. So since I did start out in the YouTube world a few years ago, kind of reviewing handbags, it was kind of like the little niche that I was in, I wanted to share with you my best luxury purchase because it might surprise you. Now I can't do a video without showing you some girly, pretty eye candy. So my very best luxury or designer handbag purchase, hands down, is my Louis Vuitton Speedy. Uh, this, this guy's started it all. My very first YouTube video was, was, reviewing this bag and, and I just, to this day I love it. It's what got me into all of this and I still wear it. If you're wondering what handbag or luxury purchases, cause I have a lot of them that have sucked and have been the worst. Um, I have a whole video about that. So I'll link that right here. I hope you enjoyed this one, but I'll see you on over there in my next video. Bye.